four, three, two, one, and liftoff. April 1981, Earth. From Space Shuttle Columbia, astronauts John Young and Robert Crippen get a unique glimpse of our planet. Piloting STS-1, NASA's first shuttle to reach orbit, they tested spaceworthiness over two days of flight. During their 36 orbits around the Earth, the crew sees the Himalayas and Cape Cod on the Massachusetts Peninsula. They operate the clamshell-like payload bay doors and latch mechanisms, testing them for future missions. They run trials on the maneuvering and altitude thrusters before their descent back to Earth. Upon re-entry into Earth's atmosphere, NASA watches Columbia closely. This orbiter is projected to become the world's first reusable spacecraft, but only if it survives re-entry from space and lands safely. Young and Crippen manually pilot the shuttle down at Edwards Air Force Base. Unlike ocean splashdowns, this Earth landing leaves little room for error. Air Force jets track alongside for these final harrowing moments. With landing gear extended, Columbia taxis over runway 23. April 14, 1981, 10.21 a.m. Columbia, the first space shuttle to orbit our planet, makes a perfect landing. With Columbia's safe return to Earth, NASA can now confidently begin planning future shuttle missions to space. Astronauts Young and Crippen deplane the spacecraft and take the time to examine the underbelly. During orbit, they notice damage to the thermal protection tiles. Young reported that two tiles on the nose looked like someone took big bites out of them. Columbia's successful return marks a major turning point in space travel. Now, NASA can pursue multiple shuttle flights with the same spacecraft. The shuttle, reattached to a Boeing 747, returns to Kennedy Space Center in Florida for further examination. NASA scientists will gather the data recorded, replace damaged hardware, and refit the orbiter for future missions. With the groundwork set, a new age of space exploration can begin. The age of the space shuttle.